as our next guest just took a two-year mission trip to a fan fest in Boston <laughs> or something like <laughs> that. Matt Damon. Dalton Nixon, back from his two-year mission yeah. for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Good to have you back in Studio B, Saints. man. It's good to be back with you guys. What's your first impression of uh, coming back to Provo, Utah, since uh, being gone for two years and, and not worrying about yourself? Yeah, um, I think first thought is the new practice facility. That wasn't here before, so that's been awesome to, to see. Yeah, cha-ching. Uh, yep, cha-ching. <laughs> and then I, I, also, I also think Jerem's style has improved over two oh, years. Oh, <laughs> all right. Yeah. Hey, that's a compliment and uh, yeah, You should have seen him yesterday. You wouldn't have been saying that yesterday. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yesterday I was wearing one of the Maui Invitational Hawaiian BYU basketball Is that shirt. right? The top yeah. button. Down <laughs> the top oh. button, yeah. I like it. Okay, let's, uh, we'll dive into you and your mission in BYU basketball, but you went to the Fan Fest Tuesday. You got home Friday. You're at the Fan Fest Tuesday. What was that like? It was awesome. It was great to uh, see all of the BYU fans come out and to spend some time with future teammates um, along with Ryan, who I played with my freshman year, and then TJ and Peyton and Zach, who I didn't have a chance to play with, but excited to just get back together with yeah. the guys. Hey, welcome back. We're going to throw you right into the mix. <laughs> Find some autographs. Get the wrist going. Yeah. And, <laughs> yep, right um, and you met Mo Longy. I did. We have yet to meet Mo Longy. So what – Come what on. was that like? Mo was awesome. It was it was actually funny. After the fan fest, when we got dropped back off here on campus, we piled in a car with Corbin Kafusi driving, Mo up front, and then in the back seat <laughs> it was me, Ryan Andrus, and TJ Haas. So that was a that was a full car. What car were you driving? <laughs> um, it was a it was just a small car. So. It was... <laughs> Can somebody please tell me that there's a picture out there? No. <laughs> that yeah. is dying to be on social media. Okay, yeah. how big is this guy? He's a big guy. He's a really big guy. He actually went head first into the car rather than, you know, just like getting in. So he just dove right into it. <laughs> he has so many problems we do not have. <laughs> like the big and tall store. You're like, you, how tall are you? Six, seven. Six, seven. Yeah. So shopping for pants or whatever, that can be a challenge. It can be a challenge. Right? Yeah, definitely. I can't imagine the challenge for Mo. Yeah. That's, that's crazy. <laughs> I can't wait to get You're him here. You're pretty much that. eye level with him, right? Yeah, just about. Holy cow. And that's yeah. about it. That is amazing. Yeah, everything else. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna guess that you're a little bit thinner than he is. Yeah, just a little but bit. Did you did gain or lose weight on your mission? So I. Uh, I lost a little bit of weight, but just enough to get back to my playing weight. Which is what? Two fifteen. Two fifteen. Yeah. Okay. So I feel good. Feel back. Ready to go. So I'm excited to train over the spring and summer. Try and get my body back in shape. Well, your dad, Kevin Nixon. Shout out to Kevin. Uh, already uh, one time BYU Sports Nation co-host. Yes, yeah. that is correct. <laughs> that is correct. Already sending out videos of you dunking. So clearly you're back in, in 100% basketball shape, right? Not quite. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think it was more of the the day after getting home, a little bit of adrenaline. Let's get back into the gym, and you know this feels good. So it, it was a lot of fun to get back into the gym with my dad and. Um, get back to work. You didn't work out every day during this two-year mission trip and, and get better. Wait, and, I thought that's why train. Mormons go on missions. Yeah, super, <laughs> super advantageous. Yeah. Two years, you know, you're in the gym every day. No. <laughs> um, <laughs> but it was uh, just, you know, the 30 minutes that, that they give you in the morning to try and, you know, do your push-ups and sit-ups. But it's nice to get back and get back into weights and conditioning, try and get your body back into playing shape. How were the uh, members in your last area? The members in my last area were awesome. Especially your sister. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. The leading question. My yep. sister and brother-in-law who went to BU were in there. Yeah, she she calls me one day and she says, "Hey, there's an elder," and I go, "Dalton Nixon. I know <laughs> he's in your ward. I saw a picture or something. I think yeah. I think your dad told me, but that, mm -hmm. that was super cool. What was it like to serve a mission in Boston? It was it was really really cool. It was a really um, unique area. Um, I served about 12, 12 months of my mission in the city of Boston. So you get all the colleges. Um, you get like the long-term long Bostonians there. And so it's such a cool city, um, especially being able to be there with such a, a rich sports culture. And that was really cool to be able to be around that and see the Patriots win the Super Bowl and have the Super Bowl parade right through the city. But just overall, it was such a great experience. Was there a certain former Cougar? Did you interact with him at any point in Boston? Oh, yeah. So it was actually at a, at a priesthood leadership meeting and saw Danny Ainge there. Oh, nice. Yeah. And so that was cool. Um, also, Jordan Chapman, who I was on the team with my freshman year, he's now at Boston College, so we got to meet up with him a few times. Um, but it's, it was such a great time. The, the members out there, there's a lot of BYU fans, great support, so it was a lot of fun. Fenway, you ever get to go to a Red Sox game on P-Day or anything? No, I didn't get to go to a, 
to a game, but walked past many times. Oh, you'll past. be back. Oh yeah. You'll be back. Definitely. Right? You gotta you gotta talk to my dad, try and get a family trip back there, you know. Oh, that's happening. <laughs> Probably next week. <laughs> Dalton Nixon with us in studio be back from his two year mission. For the Church of Jesus Christ well, of Latter-day Saints. Trip, huh? Well, we, <laughs> we only say that. Say that. Yeah. We yeah. jokingly say that, yes. Yeah, now, what's your post-mission recovery schedule like? Have you laid all that out? I mean, have you given yourself a date like, okay, I want to be 80% or 100% by such and such a date? Like, what's that like? It's So what, what I'm focusing on right now is just trying to get back into a routine, try and get into the gym every day and try and get my body back. But I would say um, probably within six weeks, I would like to be back on the court playing live. Um, and that puts us right about the start of the summer term, which I'll be down here going to school. So it'll be good to get back into the swing of things. I have the rest of the spring and then all the summer to, to work out, work with the guys, to try and mesh, and then look, look forward to a great season this upcoming year. Who helps you in figuring out the timing there? Because there, there have been guys in the past that took it too quick and they got hurt and they didn't finish their BYU careers. Other guys really excelled the year after their mission. So who's helping you with this decision of what happens when? So along with trainers and like our, our strength coach, um, talking with the, the players has been really helpful. Talking with guys like Eric and TJ and talked about like what their experience was coming back has really helped. And uh, um, just being able to just, I think an advantage that I, I felt that I had was being able to play a year, know what it's like to compete at this level and then work to get my body back into shape. Right now, who's better, one-on-one, -on -one, you or your dad? I have to say me. I do. Um, I think if you see, you see those uh, videos over there of the, the dunks, I don't think my dad could be doing that. <laughs> <laughs> it, uh, how's your shot? Some people, like Jeff Judkins, like, the shot never goes away. But how's your shot? Um, it feels good. It feels really good. You know, you, there, there were times on my mission where I would have, you know, a few months at a time where I didn't get much time in a gym, and then you go and, you know, you spend 30 minutes in a gym and you feel like your shot's back. You know, it's just that muscle memory comes back and it's just like riding a bike again. And so I think um, it feels good. Now it's just getting consistency, getting movement with the shots. Um, and that's going to be what helps me get my shot back. Were you ever sitting there in a church gym that was carpeted and you're like, Man, what's going on here? Yeah, <laughs> that was that was my last area. It was. Yeah. Oh, I've been to that church. Yeah, <laughs> it was carpet. It was, a, you know, the net wasn't completely there. It was, you know, torn up and stuff. And so you're sitting there, not quite sure if it's completely ten feet, you know. And <laughs> but you do you do what you can, you know. And and so now getting back and being able to to get back to regulation size. Hoop. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> you're envisioning the kennel. Yeah. <laughs> A lot exactly. changes in two years. Good grief. Jerem Jordan's fashion got better in two years. Absolutely. The Marriott Center got a renovation. There's a new basketball practice facility. How do you feel like you have changed the most in two years? I feel like two years, I, I really feel, I honestly feel like I grew into my body a little bit. Um, going on my freshman season, I had just turned 18. And so I remember um, my freshman season being an 18-year-old, and another player that was my same position was Josh Sharp, who was – on going on 25, married, and a kid. <laughs> and so that was a little interesting. So I think just two years of growing up, filling into my body, and then just maturing a little bit, and then all of the benefits of a mission, learning how to work, learning how to be dedicated, is something that I feel has really become a part of me. You were on the last team to play in an NCAA tournament game, uh, not in the, pl the play-in, correct, Jeremy? Was that right? Against Oregon? You tell it. So we were, oh, we were in the play-in Oh, no, you were in the play-in. That's Ole right, Miss. Ole Miss. Okay. Ole Miss. Either way, you're the last Bronco last uh, you're on the last team to play in an NCAA tournament. Yeah. Hey, let's uh let's do that again. That was fun. Yeah, Dalton's back, so let's go to the <laughs> tournament. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> choices or you learn to make good choices before your mission and then on your mission, of course. So uh, what movie was the first one you saw off your mission? This is an important choice. <laughs> so to be completely honest, I still have not sat down, watched a movie. But I will say I I have enjoyed watching the NBA playoffs. Oh, that has been really okay. nice. Okay, so you watched you the haven't playoffs. watched a movie. You are a better man than I. Yeah, yeah. Like you, on the ride home, I was like, yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say, you got any suggestions for me? Hmm. Uh, from the last two years, how do you not say Star Wars, right? Yeah, there have been two new Star Wars. That's movies. what I hear. Two new. Yeah, go after that. Yeah. That's yeah. A good start start with Star Wars. Start with uh, uh, Legacy. And then the le Mountain of the Lord, and then Star Wars. Th and then you need to go see the Lego Batman movie. We'll do. Did you, the Lego movie came out before your, your mission. Did you ever see that? Uh-uh. 
Don't. We've got a lot of work to do. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize. I don't know what we have more work to Who do. Who are on. you? Physically getting <laughs> you back or you? the movies? Yeah. Come Tuesdays, on. Tuesdays, we're going. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so looking at uh, all of the changes that have happened with BYU basketball, the annex, Eric Mika obviously leaving. We're talking about his legacy today. Heath Schroyer comes in as a very capable assistant coach, and now the Lone Peak 3 is broken up. Like, what do you think about all of the change within BYU basketball that you hop back into? I think it's definitely a positive change. Uh, coming back, it, to me, it feels, it feels really good. And, you know, we're going to be sad to have Eric go, but – I'm so excited for Eric, um, being able to play with him growing up. I actually played on an AU team with Nick, TJ, and Eric when me and TJ were freshmen and they were sophomores in high school. And so being able to see Eric's development has been awesome. And I just, I wish him the best. And I know that he's going to do great at the next level. Um, but it is exciting to get back and, and uh, be with guys that I've played with before, but not on the court here at BYU, such as Nick and TJ and Peyton Dastrup, Zach Selyus, Yoli. Um, just really excited to be back, and I definitely think it's a positive change for the program. The Lone Peak and Orem 3. Okay, no nicknames. You're right. No nicknames. No, no. Just, we'll just BYU play. Just basketball. BYU basketball. You're right. You're BYU right. basketball. Hard reset. Let's go. Well, there's 441 shots available going next year. Yeah, there there are a lot. There are a lot. Dalton, I know you signed our old flag, but this is. I want you to sign this new flag. Yeah. Okay? Awesome. Yeah. One of the great Orem Tigers, and there have been a lot. Travis Hanson. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Mountain View, <laughs> the rival. Yeah, I was. Yeah, I go in there. And Travis, like, how dare you say that I went? No. The yeah. great, the great Dave McCann. Absolutely. The great Dave Brett McCann. Pine, Duff Tittle, Chad Lewis, all my uncles and aunts. There's a legacy there, right? There, Gary Croton. Legacy is the word. Lavelle Edwards went to like the original Orem, Lincoln. Lincoln High. Dalton, great to have you back, man. Thanks.